Long before people used to listen to music on computers and CDs and even cassette players, they used to listen to music on one of these. This is a vinyl record. And in the last few years, it's becoming more fashionable. It used to be considered outdated, but a lot more people are buying these nowadays. But how does it work? If we look really closely at the record, you can see there are lots of grooves scratched into it. And that is where the music lies. In 1877, Thomas Edison invented a device which allowed him to record sound. He called it the phonograph, and it had a little needle which vibrated and scratched grooves into a piece of foil. Now, sound travels in vibration, so as he spoke, the needle vibrated ever so slightly and scratched his sound waves into that foil. So when he played it back, he could hear himself sing or talk. The first thing he ever recorded was himself shouting the words to Mary Had a Little Lamb. I don't think it did very well in the sales, but it was the only record out at the time. Now, I haven't got a record player, but I do have one of these. This here is a little device, a little toy car with a needle on the bottom. And as I turn it on, this car will drive around in circles and that needle will scratch against those grooves and be amplified through the speaker here. And we'll be able to hear the song. Now, this is called a vinyl killer, so please don't do this with your parents' best records. Shall we see how it works? For more information on our live, interactive science and engineering shows, check out our website and connect with us through Facebook and Twitter.